Hi, you guys. So here's what works for me with hair loss, and I hope that it helps some of you. So before we get into HD mode, I wanna tell you what are the causes of hair loss, okay? Breakage in your hair from water, heat, uh, not brushing your hair regularly or properly, not having any moisturizing agent to help your hair, uh, how you dye your hair, and those types of things, okay? That's number one. Obviously, health issues like thyroid problems can cause you to lose your hair. Uh, menopause, which is directly linked to hormone imbalances, can cause you to lose your hair and make it thin and fall out. Um, stress can make your hair fall out. So these are all things that in this video, I try to target in different ways to help you, okay? I'm gonna talk about what works for me. Most of the things in this video will work for most people, but if you have really thick hair, the hair dryer recommendation won't, okay? Because it really, infrared hair dryers are really more for people with like my textured hair. I'm not gonna talk about dyeing your hair in this video, but I have a whole thing about that I know how to do, which you guys have seen me do in my videos, just like naturally. Um, but I'll keep that for a different video. Okay, now I'm about to go to HD mode, but before I do, in the description of this video will be products I'm talking about in one way or another, except for the water system one. Hi, you guys. I hope you're well. Getting ready to go off to Disney. Oh, there's the chicken. Do you see the chicken? She has a friend. So, I have this chicken that's wild that comes to visit me because I give her berries. And when she sees me, she'll like, maybe she'll even come to the door while we're doing the video. But she is a friend. She found another chicken in the neighborhood who's wild and she hangs out with it. And they run around the neighborhood together and it's hilarious. Oh, I hope she comes to the door. Love is in the air. <laughs> My chicken. So cool. Okay, anyway. Um, so. I promised to do a video about what worked for me to stop my hair loss, okay? So let's do this. I'm gonna tell you some things that are very expensive. I don't want you to freak out, but I want you to be aware of them. And then I'm gonna tell you some cheap things, okay? But I'm only gonna tell you things that I think really worked, not BS. Okay, so first and foremost, we'll start with some cheap things. First of all, this, okay? I use a rosemary essential oil. I'm going to put one in uh, the description of this audio. YouTube now allows us to, to link to things. I'm going to look for the one that is the closest to, to mine or mine. I don't know if they have it. I haven't looked. So I'm doing this in HD, as you can probably tell, um, because I don't want you guys to think something isn't the way it really is. Okay. So let's go back to the rosemary essential oil. Um, I heard about this when I did the ABC Hulu special. Was it Shaw Shocker or Housewife in the House? I think it was Shaw Shocker. Here's a picture from that day. They made me change into two outfits, one for Shaw Shocker and one for ABC Impact. And this was from ABC Impact. But as you can see, it's amazing what makeup does, right? It's incredible. That's like an HD picture with makeup on. I mean, I can't get over it. I wish I always looked like this. Um, the woman who was doing my hair said, you need a trick that older women need. I'm gonna say over 40, <laughs> but over 52 and probably till your old years. And it's basically rosemary oil. And what she told me was, you take like a little drop like this, a few drops, and you go like this on your hands, and you go like this, and instantly, first of all, it's good for your hair. Second of all, it gets all those flyaways that break, like from hair breakage, and it makes them go away instantly. It's like three drops, and like it, it all this, you know? I get a little flyaway back here, because I always get breakage on the back of my head. So it's amazing, I just wanna say, and it's so cheap, go look. Now, you can also do a treatment with this, which is really cool. You put it in your scalp and you part it in and you sleep in it, and it stimulates your scalp for hair growth. So this is a little thing you could do that might make a big difference on how your hair looks, okay? That's 
number one. Number two, okay, the biggest probably hair loss changing thing I ever did was get a full house water system. So here's a home water system that I'm referring to. This takes all the water in your house and makes it healthy for a human being. They look at your water and they assess it. Your water shouldn't be yellow. It shouldn't have, you know, a huge amount of chlorine in it. It shouldn't have weird chemicals or like strange bacteria. They don't know what it is. And if you call your city, they'll be like, oh, your water's great. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna tell you a story about me in a minute. But the truth is, before I had my water system, my hair was falling out like in clumps. Here's what it looks like uh, under my sink for the drinking water and you drink it out of this thing. You guys have probably seen this. That's just for drinking water. This is for showering. The showering is as important as anything. Don't let anybody BS you. Look, I'll tell you in a minute. Now, there are companies that will send a guy to your house and they will evaluate your water. Okay. And I'm sorry to say, but in most places, the water sucks, okay? I don't care what they tell you. I'm in Florida. I literally got a rash from the water, which is what triggered me to do it. I was like, wait a minute. I called the city. They were like, you know what? That's, you know, th that must be the chlorine we're putting in. And don't worry, it just happens. We flush the system once every six months, whatever. Oh, hell no. I was like, your water should not give you a rash, okay? So I called the uh, a guy who does the water systems here, and I was like, my water's a weird color, like all this stuff. Anyway, needless to say, I called the guy, came down here, he checked the water, and there were such high levels of chlorine. Forget the other toxic chemicals they're finding in the water now. You'll see little announcements. Look it up in your area, go like, water tests or whatever. You'll probably see some like really scary stuff, right? And you'll be like, oh my God. And they'll downplay it like, oh, don't worry, it's safe. But it could cause cancer, but it's safe, you know? Here's an example. This was Volusia County, right? But they also found a chemical in uh, recently in Seminole County. Here you go. Look at this one. This one causes liver and kidney cancer. Yeah. And it turns out it's been in the water for a few years. Anyway, have fun in your local community checking out what's in your reservoir water that you think is great. Anyway, so I, I had the guy come, he tests my water. It turns out I have so much chlorine in my water that it was like I was showering in a swimming pool, okay, every single day. And there's toxins in the water that actually long-term could cause cancer because as you can imagine, if you showered in a pool every day, it wouldn't be great for your health right? Because that does penetrate your body. Well, guess what? I was getting huge amounts of hair falling out. Like, I was like, what the hell is going on? It was the water partially. My age and the water. So once I replaced my water system with properly done water that's good for the body and my skin and my hair, my hair loss stopped. My breakage stopped. It was one of the biggest things I did. Now these systems cost between like seven and $10,000, but a lot of them offer a five year zero interest uh, plan. So if you good credit, they'll set you up and you, it ends up being like 175 a month. And let's face it, ladies, what are we spending? And men, I don't know if there's any men on here, but what are we spending a month on beauty products, right? To try to like counteract the hair falling out. Do, do yourself a favor, have your water checked, get a water system in your freaking house, get healthy water on your body and love what it does for you. Like it's amazing. I don't even wanna stay outside my house now that I know my water's this good and it's really easy to maintain. Anyway, I'm not gonna promote a water company today. I do have one that I love, but I don't want to promote them because I want you to do your own due diligence, okay? That's a big purchase. All right, so we're moving on. Now, let's say you're like, Dana, I have to wait before I could add like 175 a month to my budget 
for my hair loss problem. I'd be like, I got it. Inflation's up, economy sucks, things are looking grim. So here's an alternative. And I am gonna put a link to this in the, the uh, description of this video. You can get a hard water, okay? Or soft water or whatever your water issue is, shampoo and conditioner. I, when I had to shower in my hard water, which was horrific, which was the chlorine I just told you about, I used uh, Malibu C, okay? And they have amazing solutions for water and how it's impacting your hair. And they have shampoos and the conditioners. They also have, if you bleach or dye, special shampoos and conditioners to address that too. And they're blue. You know how you know a good bleach shampoo is it has like a blue in it because what it's doing is taking the tint out of your hair. Okay, uh, women that have white hair and blonde hair, they use a blue. Here, I'll show you. See this? This is for bleached hair. And it keeps it from getting yucky looking, that weird color, orange or whatever. So you got to get yourself some shampoo like from a special person like Malibu C. And a lot of people I spoke to recommend them too, not just from my own personal experience. Okay, next thing. Okay, I keep running and <laughs> getting a thing. All right, get yourself a clinical hair growth vitamin. They have these clinically shown to help grow thicker and fuller hair vitamins, okay? Take, don't find one that you have to take seven to make it work for the day. I have one that you take one, that's it. Uh, mine is Nature's Bounty Hair Growth, clinically shown to help grow thicker, fuller hair, one per day. Take that. You're never gonna take 18 vitamins over your day. You're never gonna remember, and you're not gonna get the right amount of the nutrient. So just do me a favor, find a clinical one that says clinically proven, and do one that only is one a day. Okay, I don't know if they have this in YouTube, but if they do, I'll put it in. If not, you're on your own, but you know what to look for, okay? This is the one I use. Now, now another helpful thing is infrared hair dryers, but they can be expensive. I'll see if I can find some you know, different options below. Obviously, if you can spend the big bucks, you could get a, you know, a brand like Dyson. There's a bunch of really expensive ones. But then there's also less expensive ones. It doesn't really help with hair loss, but it does help with breakage. And to be fair, these hair dryers are not for everyone's hair type. Some people have to have the heat in order to blow dry their hair because it's thick. So I'm just saying, pretty much everything else I said though so far could be used for any hair type for All hair right, loss. All right, another cheapy one, Boar's Hairbrush. My dear friend, Kevin, who owned a salon in Beverly Hills. He used to go out with Janice Dickinson. He was on a reality show back in the day called Blowout. Anyway, Kevin used to tell me, you have to have one Boar's hairbrush and you brush your hair with it at least once a day. Not only will your hair look thicker and healthier, but it stimulates the circulation in your scalp and helps hair growth. And it also will like spread your natural oils in your hair and it's super good at spreading out the, the like hair texture. Anyway, I started doing it once a day and I swear by it. It really will make your hair thicker looking and I think it works to make it thicker. I think so. Anyway, See, I See you guys, it. look. Uh, it improves the elasticity of your hair, your resistance of your hair. It stimulates blood circulating in the scalp, which encourages new hair growth. It gets rid of dirt. It spreads oil. It helps with dead skin cells. I mean, come on, get yourself a freaking Boar's hairbrush already. Okay, some other things I've been trying, but I don't know if I'm successful yet, is doing things like Drinking one glass of soy milk a day for estrogen increase, although not as good as regular human estrogen. Also trying to eat more of these types of foods, um, and I'm taking a magnesium supplement uh, also, and um, 
that's supposed to help you with your brain too. So I've been desperately trying to get my brain, you know, back. But uh, anyway, I found this. This was a pretty good summary. When it comes to diet, processed foods, soy, and dairy products, caffeine and even red meat can affect your hormones. If you want to rebalance your hormones, try eating healthy foods like these. And then you see the list. Healthy fats, um, vegetables like Brussels sprouts and broccoli and kale. I mean, you could drink them too if you don't like to eat them. Uh, Quality proteins like fish and chicken, flax seeds. Oh, I take take a a flax seed oil too, but I take that for my eyes because I had my lens replaced and it helps improve um, your long vision when you take flax seed oil with a lens replacement. Um, Whole fruit, whole grains, herbs and spices like ginger. I love garlic. Oh my gosh. Magnesium rich foods like avocado, nut seeds, etc. Uh, Also do de-stressing activities, hiking, yoga, and things to try to get your stress levels down so you don't lose hair that way. Now for me, I've been trying this new thing for stress. Let me tell you what it is. Okay, ready? It's so fun. You go like this. You breathe in four seconds, hold your breath for like four seconds and release over seven seconds. And I swear it works. I've been doing it like several times a day because I'm always stressed out. Ready? Feels better every time. So I hope all these things help you. I swear to you, my hair was falling out in clumps, which is why I did this video, because I did manage to get it scaled way back. There's barely any hair falling out now. So, uh, you know, all of these things I am doing, uh, so I, I don't know which one's more influential, but I would have to say that if I could spring for anything in this list, it would be the water system do it for yourself. You know, forget the boob job. Get yourself in some water that's healthy and amazing and shower in it. Oh, it's so good.